Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Cave Crawler, which is a horror game where you must pilot a drone through a series of caves in search of missing persons. If you're acquiring mining rights to the area 1992, Rockwell Mining Group was alerted by local park and forest services to a missing persons report near the entrance to company property. The following footage showcases the use of the Cave Crawler, a newly patented survey drone developed by RMG. Interesting. Fairly slow turning. I sound like an RC car. <laughs> Find the missing person. Zero out of one. I think it literally is basically an RC car. Thing has tank controls. Huh. Hearing some cave noises. Looks like there's a bit of an opening over here. Yeah, something's shining over here. It should be lighting. Oh, flash! Oh, God, it's bright. How do I? Maybe I can't do anything with that. Can't go down there. Let's move a pit. No, I'm not seeing anything of note yet. Maybe you have something over here? That's a shoe. Okay, that's how you scan. Zero DNA detected. Useless. We're back at the flashlight. Let's try scanning it again. Now that I know what I'm doing. Handheld light source, low battery charge. This doesn't really help me. Oh, I can scan the hole. Unauthorized excavation tunnel. Let's go right here. I feel like we're on something. Yeah, here we go. I 
Isolated hiker's bag. Contents unknown. No, can't go any further. Huh. Wait, we got something. Motion detected? Huh. Weird. Oh, you know, I never noticed this over here. Or, maybe this wasn't here before. I think that's our missing person. Red crystals? You found the missing person! Yay. Discovery. After testing the cave crawl for approximately four hours, it was able to locate the missing Micro's body in a cave containing a crystalline structure. After a further study, RMG discovered the crystals are a highly dense energy source rivaling the output of current day nuclear energy sources. Wow! After discovering a new potential fuel source, RMG required deeper exploration to locate additional crystal deposits for further testing. The following footage was collected by the cave crawler 22 hours after a major cave in trapped RMG mining personnel within the cave. Find the bodies. Oh yes, of course, they're already dead, aren't they? I think we got one already. There's these crystals. Rockwell excavation container. Pretty sure there's a body under here. Rockwell mining tool, human blood detected. Karen Block, cause unknown. Yeah, we can go to the other side. These red crystals are weird. Rockwell Mining Tool. Oh, there it is. That's why I just scan right now. Excavation Container. I think we're all clear. All clear! Kevin blocked cause unknown. We got a flashlight. See something up there. Got a helmet. Rockwell Ultra Safe Protective Headgear. Yeah, it's gotta protect you from those crystals.
You found a body. Hey, wait a minute. It disappeared. Weird. Yeah, it's like a pitch black void out there. Motion detected. Container. Looks like there's floating particles. Came in still going on. Let's check out the sand over here. We got a body. You found a body. And his helmet's like just hanging off a crystal. Yeah, the cavern was blocked over there. Here's the last body. Is it pulsing or is it just a lighting? You found the body. It just became a crystal. Harvesting. After searching for two hours, the cave crawler was only able to locate the bodies of three of the miners still intact, alongside personnel equipment of the remaining twelve. Among further examination, the recovered bodies provide important medical data about the crystalline structures, or on the crystalline structures. We just discovered Tiberium from him and a conquer. Beginning as small spores, once contact has been made with a form of biological material, the crystals will begin to grow by converting the biological matter into energy. After implantation, small crystalline formations appear within 24 hours, with crystals reaching full maturation after 48 hours. So all the crystals we saw were the miners. Beginning at 100 hours, seismic detectors registered a slow buildup in vibrations deep within the RMG pit. After two localized seismic events, contact was lost with the feeding team at 0900 hours. The cave crawler was deployed to locate the missing team members. We got five people we gotta find today. What the, what was that? It was like stacked hot dogs. Yeah, look, there it is. Cloth allows for bodies to breathe. Bodies ready to be implanted. We're bringing bodies down here now? They're still alive. Oh my god, they're not bodies. Well, they will be. Soon enough. Let's back this way.
Object is too far to scan. It's right there. We're not responsible for any medical issues. Legally mandated biohazard warning. We got something. See this first planet. It's weird, man. Underwater, uh, a little pond down there. Uh, unknown liquid. There's a bit of a fork we just came out of. A mistake was made. Don't make mistakes in my time and my money. It's kind of narrow in here. You haven't found any of the missing team. Agitated crystalline object. What is that I'm seeing? I'm saying it's too far to scan. Unknown organic mass detected. Can't really make out what it is. I think we found one of the bodies. You found a crystal. <laughs> they don't say missing team member, they just say crystal. We've already like dehumanized them, beep boop. I feel like we should go back. Like this is the way you're supposed to go. So we went past the lake. What's at the end here? 
Don't really like this room. Ooh, something fell. Humanoid shadow? You found a crystal. I guess that's just how light hits it. Motion detected. It's a dead end. There are not bodies left, only the crystals. Got something here. You found a crystal. Oh, I see. I can see the limbs coming out. Yeah, there's the... What remains of the head. Okay, now we can go back to the area of the large organic mass. Okay, so we're passing by the organic mass again. There's two more bodies. I mean crystals. We got one right here. The seed begins to sprout. No, because it's not that's not worker, that's fuel. Looking for workers. Man, I think I'm seeing stuff. Oh, here's a body. You found a crystal. Door. Crystal's scary. Oh, the last body was like right here. <laughs> Didn't notice it. You, you're already a crystal. You found a crystal. Warning. Her law provides severe civil and criminal penalties for unauthorized production, distribution, and exhibition of copyright from the visitors of the visitors. Yeah, yeah. Following privileges for eternal use only. Unauthorized use may result in major fines and or penalty for up to 65 years in prison. Tunnel report UF-0001. The following footage was collected from Rockwell Mining Group after results of agents redacted and redacted investigations to their origin of the earthquake. RMG was immediately subpoenaed for further documentation regarding records of the mining site. Upon review, the following footage is believed to be what caused the disaster. Holy cow, we're for our whole entire city! It's weird tunnels under there. Oh my god, this whole place looks like meat. Objective? 
Was zero out of one. Dread nine fourteen million years below uh, surface. It's not even like a cave anymore. This is literally just a meat hole. Yeah, so yeah, that's 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 split we were seeing through the, like the city. It's like roots, well, veins. Unknown organic mass detected. I guess that's what we were seeing in the void earlier. Abigail. Grace. Mark. Adam. John. I guess the name of the uh, people who became those crystals. Is that rude or is that a face? No, it's a rude. Multiple bodies detected. It's a mass of them. Jabu Jabu's belly. Undulating intestinal tract. It's the intestines of the earth. Carlos. Gabriel. Gabriel armor. William F. Got last names attached to him now. Mario L. Mario and Luigi. Can't go deep. Looking at dang roots are everywhere. The heart.
Huh. Don't necessarily see anything to scan. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, that's an eyeball. Error. Error. What? Internal report conclusion. Upon further investigation of the provided materials and an order of the current director of Homeland Security, RMG has been contracted to, to study of the caves under the direct supervision of Dr. Redacted. Ah, okay, I see what the names were. It's a little interesting when they tie in the credits. Please rewind the tape before returning it to filing personnel. So, that's it for Cave Crawler. So this is from the um, developer of uh, an RPG maker uh, game. I'm not sure if the second one was, but the first one was uh, called Suits, actually. They actually haven't really have done a horror game before. In fact, they haven't released a game in quite some time, I think. Um, so it might be inspired. Now, I don't really watch YouTube at all, for the most part. There's only like a very specific few things I watch. Um, but I can tell from my comments, based on some of my comments, because I actually played a never kind of caving uh, horror game. It was a little bit different than this one. It was the uh, one that was tied into that game with an like, actual monster and stuff. There was that one, and then there was another one where you crawled around with, like, your hands. Like, you clicked around and stuff. So, based on the comments in those videos, I guess the modern generation is kind of discovering all those horrifying cave accident stories. And because of those videos, um, there's been a, you know, spring up of, uh, it's a little indie uh, horror games involving caving and stuff. Which is a good subject matter, actually, for a horror game. I mean, it works very easily. So all the ones I've played have all gone for a different vibe a little bit. And this one focused more on the found footage style of things. And it did a pretty good job of that. I, I think it, it got the atmosphere right. It got a little bit of an eerie, kind of a weird thing. Like, it wasn't like really directly scary, but it was just kind of like bizarre and kind of weird. Like the crystals and stuff. Like, there's something seriously wrong going on here. But, like, you, you never fully find out what's going on. Like, you just... It's just something's off. Like, something's really bad. So, overall, it had a pretty good atmosphere. It's a little bit slow. Which is not going to be for everyone's taste. It, it does... A lot of it is just something just piloting the drone. Just nothing really happens of sorts. And even when you do discover stuff, it's just like... You're just looking like, this is wrong. Like I said, like, you just get this feeling, this is wrong. But I did enjoy its atmosphere, so I did like the game overall. I suppose you could argue that's a never trend, and I don't mean just mean the cave stuff, I mean the, uh... Now, for horror movies and literature and everything, like found footage is not necessarily anything new. But for indie horror games, I know it's, it's really coming in strong, I think partially inspired by the analog and some other YouTube horror series. And it's, it's kind of had this kind of synergy, where it's synergizing with the kind of busy buddy work horror and the key traits they all kind of share is you have a very slow pace. You just kind of hear noises, like it's just a very atmosphere build. And then there's some kind of like big reveal or like some kind of kick in the shins right at the end. And I don't think Iron Lung is the one that really started it. I think Iron Lung helped popularize it a little bit, but like it was kind of starting before Iron Lung. But I noticed that's a very interesting trend in indie horror. It's not oversaturated yet. You still have a lot of room to kind of move into it because it's a very vague genre. But yeah, it's a completely separate subject from the actual talking of the game. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play Cave Crawler. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.